what's up guys welcome back to yet another video today we are going to see how to backup alcatel lucid switch using a python script let's get to my laptop to get started i use pycharm as my IDE. you can use any other IDE you prefer once the IDE is open i'm gonna start a new project i will create a new directory on my desktop so i will navigate to the desktop from the c folder From the PyCharm, I will navigate to the terminal window on the bottom of the screen and I will list all the directories on my desktop using command dir. That will give me a list of all the folders on my desktop. As you can see, I have only two folders, desktop and switch backup. Now we will clone a git repository from github to desktop directory. This is my GitHub repository I have uploaded to GitHub. I will provide the link into the description below. You can go ahead and click on the link to clone the repository. To clone the repository, you're gonna enter the command git clone and the link to the repository and hit enter. Okay, we have successfully cloned the repository. You can list the directories using the same command dir. As you can see, we have a new folder named alcatel underscore switch underscore backup on our desktop. I will navigate to this folder using command cd and the folder name. Once you are in the folder, you can enter dir to list all the contents of the directory. Here you will see the python script we have and other files. To use this code, we will have to install some dependencies which you can install using a command pip install dash r requirements.txt this requirements.txt file contains all the libraries that are required for our backup script to work so make sure to install this before running the script i already have this installed but i will redo it again as you can see it installed all the libraries that are required once the dependencies are installed, you can open the backup.py file. This is where our main script is located. Please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to cover the basics of Git and GitHub repository, how to create them, how to install them, etc. I would love to create separate videos on that. For this backup script, we will be using Netmiko. Netmiko is a multi-vendor SSH Python library that simplifies the process of connecting to network devices via SSH. If you want me to cover in depth about Netmiko, please let me know in the comment sections below. Okay, let's get back to the script. As you can see, the script is pretty straightforward. I'm using Netmiko. I have some connect handler specified. First, we will initialize the device. Here is a syntax to initialize the device. We have to specify the device type. In this case, we will be using Alcatel underscore SROS. This is important for Netmiko to understand which device we are trying to connect to. Then we will provide the IP information, username and password. In this case, I have kept the standard username and password admin switch. You can change it according to your needs. I know this is a clear text password. I don't recommend this to use in production environment. You can store your password in a different file and then encrypt it and then call it into the Python script. That's a better way to use password in Python scripts. But for a demonstration purpose, I am good with the clear text password. The next important piece of the script is the IPList.txt file. This is the file where we will be specifying the IP address of all the devices that we would like to backup. In this case, as you can see, I have only one IP address specified in the file, which is 192.168.100.254. You can add as many IP address of the devices that you would like to backup to this file. Just make sure to add new IP to the next line. Let's go back to the script. The next thing we have here is the script to connect to the device and take the backup. Here we are using a for loop, which is iterating over the IP list file and it will connect 
to one IP address at a time using the NetMiko Connect handler. Then we are sending a command to the switch right terminal waiting for a few seconds which we are storing in output variable. After that we are creating a new file with open python library and providing device ip address and today's date which we are getting from date and time module in python. Once we have all this information we are then writing the output information that we collected from the connect handler to the file and then saving the file and then closing it. At last we will disconnect the session that we started using netmiko connect handler. At last we have exception added to our script which will execute when we cannot connect to the IP address specified into the IP list.txt file and then it will throw a message on the screen. Okay let's try to execute this code and see if it works. I have directly connected to the switch which I would like to back up and the IP address of the switch is 192.168.100.254 and the IP address of my laptop is 192.168.100.100. I also have a console connection to the switch. Let's make sure that we have correct IP address on the switch. For that, I will open Putty and then use the serial connection. Login to the switch using a default username and password admin switch. Type command show IP interface. As you can see, I have two interfaces, data and voice. My data interface IP address is 192.168.100.254. I will make sure I can successfully ping this IP address from my computer. I'll open up the command prompt and enter command ping 192.168.100.254. As you can see, I can successfully ping the switch IP interface. Now let's get back to our backup script and run the script to backup our switch. To do so, I'm gonna click on run to run the script. As you can see our script ran successfully and created a file in our current directory with the IP address of the switch and today's date. Let's open the file to see what's inside it. Here you go, we have complete configuration from the switch. Let's navigate to desktop to see the files. On the desktop, this is our folder alcartel underscore switch cups let's open it you can see our script created this file we'll open it in notepad just to make sure this is the exact same file as you can see this the exact same file with all the configuration that we have on our switch you can automate all this process using a .bat file which will allow you to schedule the backup using windows task scheduler and backup your network devices per your schedule Let's open this .bat file. Here as you can see I have the path where python is installed on my computer and then I have the path for the backup script. On the next line you can specify pause. This is just to pause the command prompt after executing the .bat file. Let's try to run this bat file and see if it works. To do so, I'm gonna delete this file that we just backed up and then run switch underscore backup dot bat. As you can see, our Python script is running, but this time it is from Windows command prompt and you don't need PyCharm or any IDE to run your Python script. And the script already created the backup file. Let's open it just to make sure it's the same file. As you can see, it's the exact same configuration from the switch. Now, let's use this .bat file to schedule our backup using task scheduler. To do so, open task scheduler on your windows. Click on create task on the right hand side. Give name to your task. In this case, I will be naming it switch backup. You can also specify the security option if you want to run this when the user is logged in or logged out. 
then we can specify the triggers actions uh, let's specify the action first this is where we will point the task scheduler to our script so we will browse to the location of the dot bat file from here our script is located on desktop then alcatel switch backup then switch underscore backup dot bat select that file click open and then ok if you want to specify any condition you can specify here in this case i don't have any conditions so i will go back to triggers trigger is when our script will trigger this is where you will specify your schedule if you want to take the switch backup only one time daily weekly monthly you configure it here in this case i would like to take my switch backup weekly so i will select weekly start date from today every sunday at 1 pm 10 minutes uh, that's fine so we'll, we'll just select that let's do saturday click ok ok again it will ask you to provide the computer password to create the task just enter your computer password click ok as you can see we have successfully created a task for our switch backup now this task will run every saturday around 1 pm and will back up your switch and save the files in the same directory where our code is there are a few things to keep in mind to make sure the scheduled task runs successfully we have to make sure our python path is added to the environment variable path to check that go to your computer properties then environment variables then select path and click edit make sure the path where python is installed on your computer is added here if it is not in the list just go ahead and create a new path and add it here in my case i already have it so i will just cancel out of here that's it this is how you use python script to backup your alcatel switches using netmiko i know this script might not be the best you have ever seen but you can use this script as a baseline and then build up on top of it i hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and smash that like button i will see you in the next one till then bye bye